In this video segment, we're gonna demonstrate the proper setup of the Rios Tac 2. So, I've packed this in such a way that it is recommended. If you have the battery that's outside of the computer, I'll do this if it's gonna be stowed for a long period of time. When you receive it, it might be configured in this manner where it's outside. So if you want to start this guy up, the lid here, the red tab indicates that it's unlocked. I'm gonna load the battery in, and that'll get that started, okay? So the first thing you probably wanna do is configure your system for power, power supply. For this one, I'm gonna use the standard computer power cable for AC. Now you can connect this DC. Uh, you'll need the, the DC cable that'll connect to a vehicle battery, uh, but in this case, we're gonna use the AC that we have supplied out here. In addition to that, we have the computer to IO chassis cable. Place that there. And we have the output power to the computer. And this enables the computer to be plugged in and powered through the lens without needing an additional power supply for the computer. And if you use the ethernet on your system, and you don't have to, but if you choose to, the ethernet cable, which I'll plug in shortly. For the rear interfaces, the power, snap it in. The USB, this guy here, same thing, has a key slot. It'll snap in as well. This guy's gonna run over to the server computer, which will connect shortly. And lastly, for the back end, we have the output, the 19.5 volts out to the computer. USB in on the rear side of the Dell Extreme. Power in. And with my ethernet connection here. Connection here. And if I've disconnected my router, very important, don't forget to plug that in there. And once you have this connected, you can power on the I.O. You'll get the green light there, power on the computer, and you're all set up. 